evening. Good evening. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Good evening. Uh, and welcome each of you. Today, I am going to recap the concept we learned in the last class. Then. I will teach you some more new concept okay then you will practice okay then you will practice and in the second session I'm going to show you how test automation engineers work okay I will show you how test automation engineer works okay and we will keep practicing and at the end of the month three you will become comfortable but we will recap all this concept frameworks again and again again and over again so that you can become confident before you go to job market okay our end goal is to get a job okay you learn a lot of things and can't land a job then it will be actually meaningless okay so our end goal is to find a good job lucrative job okay so let me start with java program that we covered in the last class okay uh, in the last class who can tell me what did we learn? We learn about classes. Um, we learn about methods and object. All right. And what else? Variable, very good. And what else? Uh, we'll learn about uh, class. Okay, we learn about class too. All right. Today we are going to create another class. I just let me. Let me create a new project so that you understand well also how we create project, okay? I just go to file, then go to new, then click on Java project. All right, let me show you again. Go to file, then go to new, click on it so that it, it doesn't jump, okay? When you click, it becomes a little stubble. Then click on Java project. And name of the project can be anything. Let me name it Java Tutorial. Okay. Look at the name. J is capital and T is capital. Okay. You can also write like java underscore tutorial no problem at all but i prefer not to use underscore in java usually in python we uh, encourage to put underscore in java usually we put like this okay two words close together never we name it like separately always together then click on next or finish 
both are okay okay uh, and it seems java 17 is um, here okay no problem and our dialog box will pop up create module info.java don't create okay click on don't create i don't need it okay now you see uh java tutorial is there okay and jre system library jre system library j is java r is run time e is environment java run time environment system library these are the software nothing but jar files that comes from java programming automatically by default and these softwares help us to execute our program run our program this jre system library in src meaning source okay source folder it is nothing but a folder empty folder empty folder there is nothing inside src this is just like a container just a folder inside the folder we can create n number folders we call it package in java we can create n number package package is nothing but empty folder too empty folder i can say uh, basic java look package or folder name is starting with small cap but second word is still with capital then click on finish a package is created now i can create as many as i need i can say um, java method or methods okay i can say java class and object okay i can say java class and object so i can create as many as i need and put classes inside packages and we can arrange topic by topic okay i'm taking basic java just right button click and inside the package we can create n number classes okay meaning package is nothing but collection of classes okay collection of classes they are can be two classes five classes ten classes hi uh babu sorry to interrupt you teacher um i have a question is our class recorded tonight yes we are recording okay. thank you let me double check whether i am recording yes it's recording being recorded thank you it's recording okay thank you so much yes if we forget to record it will be a disaster okay sometimes i forget <laughs> you know last time I, I recorded i couldn't i couldn't open it it was just a word not recorded the okay. last class it say not recorded yes recording in progress okay i'm recording double okay 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 let's make it sure okay so basic java is package package is nothing but a folder empty folder but it can be also collection of classes we can put more than one class okay when i say java class java class always uh, in capital okay 
I can say teacher say for example teacher class and check in public static void main if you forget to check in don't worry click on finish okay and teacher class is there I don't need it just I take it out okay I can make it a little bigger uh, Mr. Ignatius could you please tell me how I can make my screen a little bigger it is Control. Control and then uh, plus, um, plus. Co class, yeah. Control and class. Control and C. Plus. Is it C? Plus. No, okay. this okay. it is plus. Okay. Okay. Control okay. C plus. T R L plus. Plus sign. Plus. Okay. Plus sign. Yeah. yeah. Plus sign. And to make it smaller, just control minus. Okay. Minus. Okay. Control okay. minus. Control plus. Control plus. Control minus. Okay. Very simple. Now we can write. Now this is very popular interview question. What is system? Okay, in Java. System. This is system. Okay. System is a class okay class this is also class that comes with java this is java class now this class is created by us but this class is already created inside java okay so we will find lot of classes that is by default comes with java and we can use them to accelerate our coding skills okay system then i put you see when I just write O I see out is there so out dot lot of you see lot of uh, method and properties already in Java these are in built methods built in properties built in method it comes with Java program we didn't make it we didn't build it we didn't develop it we didn't create it these are already inside java program okay and i just take print ln method print ln method okay and inside print ln method prints ln method i can print anything okay you see now what is system system is class what is out? Out is I'm telling the system, hey system, show me the output. Output. How it will show the output? Print the output. It will show output by printing. No, I didn't put ln. Okay, I didn't put ln. I just say print. Okay. And I copy it. Okay. And I again say hello rudy okay and just execute it execute also uh familiar with run okay execute or run run and execute same thing you see hello and hello rudy comes together in the same line because we didn't tell the system Print it line by line. LN meaning print line, line by line. Okay. When I say line by line, it will print this line separately. Hello and hello Rudy. Now, this is interview question. What is the difference between print and print line or LN? Okay. What are the difference between prints method and differences yeah differences print ln method okay print ln 
differences thank you so much what are the differences between print method prints also small and print ln methods okay now now you know the difference now you can answer what are the difference print will print the output in the same line hello hello Rudy. and print allen is a command or method that is telling the system to show me the output printing line by line in separate line clear these are very silly question but interviewers they want to check you have the can you say it again babu please let me show you hello ignatius 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 how do you pronounce like this or no okay fantastic thank you so much uh, try to understand prints when I am using just print method look very carefully run as Java application hello Ignatius hello Rudy it's coming in just one line so print method prints output these are called also statements statements in the same line but when we use print ln, meaning, meaning print line by line, okay, when we put ln, meaning hello system, we are telling the system class to print line by line whatever output it is going to print. Now, look very carefully now it is printing hello ignatius hello rudy in the separate lines not in the same line clear i don't i don't see the yes. difference though Sir, thank you you don't see the difference let's check again look okay i take out ln meaning line okay now okay. i run e it's printing hello ignatius hello rudy in the same oh okay okay, okay? Yes, yes, you yeah. okay. <laughs> and when i am just adding ln it's printing hello ignatius and hello rudy in the separate line separate line yeah Yes. yes okay you see okay. so yeah. now question is what are the differences between print method and print ln method in java now you can tell the interviewer if we print two separate statement using system dot out print one statement and system dot out print another statement it will print in the same line but when we use print ln, it will print in the separate lines clear, clear? Okay. okay fantastic this is one concept okay now what are we going to do we are going to recap variable okay what is variable variables are nothing but containers that store data data or data or information it can be information okay now variable we have to declare how we declare variable look how we declare variable variable 
we declare variable first we have to tell what type of data i'm going to put inside the variable this is string type i'm telling this is string type okay and name of the teacher will be string say for example it's uh, mr ignatius okay pardon me if i don't pronounce your name correctly no you pronounce it very well okay thank you so much <laughs> oh yes yes you do ignatius okay and oh yeah now look i can declare it first we call it declaration what i said string name this is variable i declare okay then when i say name equal to ignatius okay i say name equal to ignatius when i put here syntax error or token you say invalid declaration meaning there are two just i i can use just one uh, equal sign okay string name equal to ignatius what it's saying now it's saying syntax error token uh, semicolon is expected i put semicolon here though it is saying semicolon is expected okay now still it is saying semicolon is expected syntax error token semicolon is expected okay all right so we can declare then we can define define means what will be inside name when we put what will be inside the variable we call it declare so this is define and when we say name equal to ignatius this is defined okay so variable okay. declare and variable defined okay okay how we declare string name okay. and how we define string name equal to mr ignatius, ignatius yeah. and this teacher can have name whatever he or she can have is properties right okay. the teacher can have age ages say for example 39 okay now what are these these are state whatever uh, the teacher has is state and states are properties these are called properties and it is called also attributes and it is called also fields you can call it anything state properties attribute and fields okay and this is also the same <clears throat> okay now this teacher can have also behavior this teacher can have also behavior behavior and these behaviors are called methods in programming language methods no. action yes action methods action function now now this is also method right main method wherever you see parenthesis okay be sure it is a method so there is parenthesis so it is also method this method we didn't create it comes with java so these are called inbuilt method or built-in method 
inbuilt method or build in <coughs> okay so but this behavior that we are going to create is not built in or inbuilt we are creating it void <coughs> excuse me void teacher can teach whatever ability the teacher has is the method okay teacher can teach i can say system dot out in brief i can say in short c show control space bar okay and i can say teacher can teach okay so this is a method now i just put my cursor inside this parenthesis and press control alt then down arrow and it will copy okay i don't need to type this again and again i just i just can copy it. okay and i can say teacher can teach teacher can teacher i can write anything inside okay and i can create n number method if i need i can say teacher can dance okay the ability of do doing something see so control space bar and i can say teacher can dance okay and i can just copy control alt together press control alt together then down arrow okay now In the last class, we learned to access all these variables or states or properties or attribute or fields. We need to create what? Object, right? We need to create object. We need to create object. Why we need to create object? To access all the methods and properties, right? But today, I'm not going to create any method, but I want to access them. Is it possible? Yes, it is possible. Without yes. creating object, we can also access them. How? To access them, this method is static. Okay? Yeah. And this method also have to be static if we want to access them or use them without creating object okay if it is static and it is static then we can access if it is not static method there is no keyword static here then we have to create object to access them we have to create object because it is static but it is not static understand me okay let me show by example teacher okay teacher one say for example or it can be anything actually this is variable so it can be ignatius ignatius okay ignatius and i say new teacher parenthesis semicolon now this is new object and ignatius is just a variable inside the variable we have new teacher so we call it reference variable this is referring to the new object new teacher okay and we can also copy it okay you know how to copy it right now control alt then down arrow okay this is not ignatius this is say for example rudy you see reference variable is always in small letters small letters okay now 
Now you are sure I can, I can, I can access the method. You see, age, name, method, uh, teach, dance. Say, for example, dance. I can access it. You see, no red mark meaning I can access them. I can also access by Rudy dot teach. You see, I can access them because I create object and using the reference variable to the object with dot operator, I can access them. Okay, now our concept today is that we are learning without creating object we can access ignatius without ignatius we can access dance and without rudy we can access teach okay we can access them how the question is how we can access them without creating any object without creating any object without reference variable how we can access the methods this is the question very crucial question very uh, popular interview question also they will ask you why do you create object you say i create object to access all the methods and variables of the class because I need to access with the reference variable to the object with dot operator. Now, I'm saying without creating object, I can access. Interviewer might ask you. You said you create object to access all the methods and variables. Now, can you access the methods and variables without creating object? Your answer will be, yes, I can. How? To access without creating object, we, this main method we have static, we also make this static. Okay? When I put static for dance method, this method becomes static method. Okay? Earlier it was without static, so it was non-static method now it is with static so it becomes static method now you see dance we can access there is no red mark anymore but still teach method does have red mark because teach is still non-static you see there is no static word now just put static and the red mark gone meaning now you can access now just right button click and go run as java application execute it now you you see everything you can access clear is it clear You said uh, object uh, can be accessed without uh, accessing the methods and also... I said I can access method and I can access also properties without creating okay. object. You see, we oh, created okay. object. I'm not using it. Comment meaning I'm not using it. Commented meaning I'm not using it without creating object i am accessing it you see i can access i can print right same way without using this i can also access properties how i can make them static okay so variable can be also static and non-static you see I created this variable static just putting static keyword in front of data types 
and now I'm not using this object and I can just say CSO control spacebar and I can say name okay you see I'm not using Ignatius dot name and I'm not using Rudy dot name I can directly I can access you see now just right button click and check it Mr. Ignatius 39 okay you can say I am plus name and you can say and I am H directly you are accessing without creating any object is it clear data ever yes yes we can access everything without creating object also but to do it we have to make them static is it clear okay i think it is clear wonderful welcome back and there are some very popular interview question what is the purpose of creating objects okay why do you create object why we need to create object in java the purpose of creating object is to access meaning use all the properties and methods of the class okay let me make it star slash and star slash okay end end you know now we have to create object to access all the methods and uh, methods and variables or methods and properties now next question is can you access methods and properties of class without creating object without creating object okay without creating object what will be your answer we just seen yes we can yes we can now next question will be how then you have to tell we can access all the methods and properties without creating object if our method is static. So if it is non-static, we have to use static keyword in front of a method. Okay, static. And if you want to access without creating object of the class, uh, if we want to access the states or properties or attributes again we have to put static keyword before variable and type of the variable static okay static. we have to make them also static then without creating object we can access them and we can use them clear All right, now it is time to practice, okay? Now, for both of you, create a class name, class name will be student, okay? Uh, declare 
and define two properties at least two properties two variable two variables i can say variables with properties okay then create object to access all the properties and methods okay then i'll say comments the objects whatever you created comment it meaning make comment like this then access the properties and methods without objects you understand it right you are creating a class student and student should have a name student should have an id or roll number or age or anything then create at least two methods variables and create at least two methods okay can you do it Mr. Rudy, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. I'm still... Okay, uh, okay no problem. You are still, I know. Trying to, yes, to get... Yes, I know. At the very beginning, I say, at least four class you have to take to understand all these things. But we can try. Okay. Now, who want to try it in front of us? Together we can practice. Um. Who want to practice? Ignatius or Rudy? Who want to share screen? I can do. Okay. Now, I'm giving you this. Okay. Uh, I just copy, copy, copy. What is copy? Copy. And I'm sending it to chat option. You can find it for both of you. I'm sending inside chat option. Okay. Inbox it. Just copy it. Okay. Now share your screen. Rudy e. Yeah. Now. Recording stopped. Recording stopped. Okay. Go ahead. Now you are the host. Ignatius, I have a question for you. Have you uh, download and install Java on your machine? Not yet. I cannot hear you. Could you please uh, unmute? Could you please unmute, Ignatius? Have you downloaded and installed Java program on your machine, on your computer? No, because I don't know which one to download. You know, you know, there's a lot of them. Okay. Just either download Java 8 or Java 11 or Java 15. Which one? Java 11? 8, 11 or 15. You can uh, download 11. 11, okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Okay, go what, to is this what you sent earlier. I sent 
in chat room yeah you got it so what, what <clears throat> is on this page here uh first you have to open eclipse ide yeah that i'm, I'm here right now no we so don't see it java basic java we don't, yeah we don't see it where is oh. your eclipse wow i'll share it again yes now we can see it. you can create a new project here new project yes java project java project java project name of the project What do you want me to name it, Java? Name it, Java, Java, only Java, Java tutorial, Java class, anything. You said 17? No, 15, take either 15 or 11. Uh, I don't know what... Uh, version did you install i think 11 or 15 no problem yeah. let's take one what is your project i don't see it project name you didn't see no name it oh, what's wrong with this yeah it's not showing actually uh, i think it's wrong okay what is your project? Mm, I have to I have to make another one because I cannot see. Okay, click on finish. After you name it, click on finish. Java fifteen. Right, Java student. Okay go inside java student yes click on the drop down yes then yeah it is java 15 right button click inside src okay right button click and create a class right take any class any class oh no i told you to create class student Name of the student. Are you there, Mr. Ignatius? Hello, Ignatius. Is, that what, is this what you want, students? I want you to create a class named student. Yeah, that's the name now. Can you see? No, I cannot. Just create it. Click on OK or finish. Oh man, what's wrong? Why you cannot see? Just Can create it. Now? Just create it, then I will see it. I cannot see until you create it. Something wrong. <laughs> the use of the default package is discouraged. So what should I write? You can create any package name. I said it can be anything. <clears throat> you can say Java Basic. Philadelphia. Okay. No problem, but it should be meaningful. Mm. I think Ignatius drop. He is out of the class now. Uh, if he joins back, please let him in. Yes, he is not here. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm sharing again. Okay. Can you see me now? Yes. You want to create package or class? Class, you said, right? 
Yeah, you can create package or plus. If you want, you can create package. Name it. Java basic, Java fundamental. <laughs> yes, oh no, Java basic, okay. Just delete package info.java, delete it. Delete it, not this one. Package info, yes. No, this one, yes. Package info.java. We don't need it. Why do we need to delete that? Not necessary. We don't need to delete that, but we don't need it. So I just let them clear. Okay, we don't need them. Then inside Java basic, you can create a class. Name of the class will be student, right? Yeah. And name of the class is always capital. Students. S will be capital. Yeah. You see it? Yes, I can see it. No. Since we don't have main method, you forgot to check in main method. So you have to create main method. How you can create main method? How can I do that again? No, you don't need to. I showed you how you can do it. Just go inside the class. Go inside the class. Inside the class, meaning in between two curly braces, mm -hmm. press enter. Yes. Just type main, main control space bar. No, no, you have to put yes. Enter. Now just press enter okay you see you don't need to check in if you forget to check in no problem just type me then control spacebar press enter okay say it again main and then control space just delete it and try it again okay just delete it how to delete this select and delete just select this line yes there is delete button delete hmm, there's not on your on your keyboard there is delete button keyboard there is delete keyboard you don't need to go there yes and also delete another curly braces extra curly braces it can create a problem okay just type not there yes just type main Control spacebar. No. Main control spacebar. Yes. Press enter. Main control spacebar enter. Okay. Then, now what we need to do? We need to create two properties for student student has his or her name so not here it will be inside the class not inside the main method
what is class class is student after student yes press enter 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 okay now you can declare variable here right how you declare variable first you tell what type of data it is string or integer string is no no static string and string is always capital s yes string space what properties you want name yes name name this is variable right equal to name of the student no name of the student what is the name of the student john okay john john is string or integer is it number no it is not a number it is string string meaning combination of letters so john is combination of letters if it is string always you have to put inside the quotation mark john yeah it will be inside quotation mark yes no space in between quotation no space then semicolon why semicolon in java programming language semicolon semicolon yes in java programming language every line of code every line of code after you complete writing code you have to terminate it with semicolon terminate means you have to end you have to finish it with semicolon okay now this student can have also id right so id what is id id okay id so id it will be a string or number string it can be string or number right yeah equal to id say for example 101 101 okay so semicolon now tell me is it a string or number 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 is integer right yeah so before listen very carefully identification is 101 you can make it short id just id okay id just id and remember variable is always in small letter so id will be small okay now you understand it it is an an integer so variable type should be integer so before id you have to tell it is an integer an integer in programming language we just write int 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 yes so now you have uh, as part the requirement is i say create two properties two properties created one is string name equal to john another one is integer id equal to 101 mm -hmm. now next instruction was create any two methods how do you create methods it can be public void or only void
void okay then name of the method student can what okay dance you can use different method you can say student can research okay fine and after the word research there will be parenthesis in method right parenthesis Parenthesis, no, no, parenthesis is in place of 9 and 0, 9 and 0, no, after research, parenthesis. parenthesis no first opening parenthesis then closing parenthesis so uh, before the research no like... no no after the research ah okay 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 gotcha. then yeah. curly braces curly braces opening curly braces then closing curly braces Okay, now you can write anything here. System dot out print ln. System is capital because it is class. Oh, okay. System dot out dot print ln dot print ln. Enter. Okay. Now you can write statement inside of it. What do you want to write? Student can research. No, inside print Allen method. Inside. Okay. And student can research. now student can research is it number or string string if it is string always put inside the quotation mark why you put quotation mark there the quotation mark will be before student before student and after student right yeah all right now create another method where outside of this no create another method outside of this method scope you have to go right right public void name of the method it can be anything sing okay parenthesis then curly braces okay now you can write any statement inside of it you can copy and paste okay if you don't want to write just copy system dot out print Allen. Okay, if you want to write, you can write it. Print Allen. Parenthesis. Print Allen. Then parenthesis. Parenthesis will be close. Very close to. Parenthesis. Yes. And write anything you want. Any statement you want to write, you can write. Student can sing. Okay. Why there is red mark? Okay. 
you have to terminate the java program now you have created two methods what next you have to create object where you are going to create object where mm. why red mark there could you please find it out oh this one why you should that there should be this space no 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 oh. you take out one curly braces mm, okay you cannot remove any curly braces or you cannot put extra curly braces okay yeah so where are you going to create object inside the main method inside the main method now go inside the main method which one is main method research and sing no this is method main method where is main can you main word students no this is class okay class is student research are method um, research and seeing our methods oh, methods yeah, ignatius which one is main method Ignatius, can you hear me? Main method is the public static void main. Can you yeah. see there? So main is main method. Main method is variable. No, main method is main method. It's main method, yeah. Main method is main method. Public static void main. Can you see it? Yeah, the bottom, yeah. Yeah, this is the main method. Always remember, main method is the entry point of any programming language. Entry point. So, just don't write. I know. I'm just... Uh... Double slash. Yes. So, whenever you want to write something, put double slash okay yeah so main method is the entry point of java programming meaning it will execute your java program without main method you cannot execute your program you understand me yeah okay now go to inside the main method what does it mean main method does have also scope can you remember i first day i tell you scope scope always starts with curly braces and scope ends with curly braces so mm, 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 why are you putting there curly braces no you don't need it you have already there inside the main method go a little down go down no go down okay you see this is main method yeah and it does have scope what does it mean the main method has curly braces two curly braces right can you see you can make it little bigger how you can make it bigger command plus if you are in mac yes and you can drag to the left to make the screen bigger okay control minus command minus okay all right i'm telling you can you see at the right you have scroll bar actually you can drag little right and drag little left and make it bigger yeah now inside the main method you have to create object how do we create object to create object we need plus right so what is our plus 
student is our class student or students you write students okay students no problem so from students class you have to create object how do we create object first take the class no i say take the class what is what is the name of the class name of the class is students take students copy students or type you can copy or type class is always capital students space the reference variable can be any name you know any name you can make it mark, but reference variable is always small letter. Mark, okay. Equal to That's awesome. James, okay. Space. There should be space in between James and yes. Again, space. New keyword. space type students again students students then parenthesis parenthesis should be together students and parenthesis will be close together close together students and parentheses there will be no space in between students and parentheses yes okay enter now you know how to access them right you know how to access them now mm. how we access the properties and methods Ignatius. Uh, the method and process by creating the object. Yeah, we already created object, right? Yeah, then we have to use the reference variable. Yes, yes. Use reference variable. So James dot. When you type James dot, you see, now you have all the methods and properties there. Why you are taking students here? dot you have id you have name you can use name properties now or id properties okay okay and you can print it how do you print system dot out print allen no how do you print system dot out dot print ln parenthesis then semicolon okay now semicolon what are you going to print you are going to print gems dot id just cut gems dot id Cut it. And put inside print Ellen. Okay. Now execute it. Right button click. You see, 101, ID is 101. Now, can you also print the name of the student? Yes. How? System out. Just copy. Don't waste your time. Just copy and paste, copy and paste, copy and paste. You know, I told you, software testing. Inside, inside the uh, calibration. Of course. 
Oh, why, there's no why there is no calibration here? This is close already. Should I create one like that? No, no, no. You cannot create extra. There is calibration. This one, this one is close. This one is close. Yes. Oh, there you, is. you are inside the main method. You yes. are okay. working gotcha. inside the... No. Why are you taking it out? This is the calibration for the class. Okay. All right, you need little practice, okay? Don't get demotivated. You have to practice. I told you to start understanding any programming language, you have to attend at least two, cla four classes, okay? All right. Yes, welcome back. Now Rudy is almost there. Rudy, again, you are the host. Share your screen, please. Is there Rudy? Mr. Rudy, are you there? Yes. Open your yes. Eclipse. Can you see now? Yeah, we can see your screen, but there is no, no eclipse. Eclipse. Yes. Okay. No. Take your cursor in front of students, James. In front of students left here in front of students students before you mean yes before students okay, okay. then press on tap button tap button tap yes do the same for system out dot print allen james dot id we call it indentation Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Whatever you write inside the main method, everything should be indented. Okay. okay. It is because you have to write clean coding and you want to make it readable. Okay. Right. That is very important. Okay. Do we need to make more spaces like 41 to 46 or can I do it on the 42nd? actually you can do it on 40 seconds yeah because uh it's just weird for me to uh, make a big space in between. yes 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 uh, just notice very carefully how do i code okay yeah follow me okay this is much better now how you can access the methods can you access the methods too by means of Property creating the object and using the reference variable. Yes. How? Show uh, us. That operator. Show us. Okay. Uh, Demonstrate us. Should be. Press enter first. Okay. Uh, no. Oh, wait. <laughs> You are using reference variable dot <laughs> the name of the method. Yes. Uh, James, uh, student, right? No. Ugh. I'm telling you to print the method, access the method. How you can access the method? First check what methods do you have? Ignatius, could you tell us what method is them that we have? Out. Can you see any method there that we have? Uh, a system. When you use James dot dot operator, you are accessing all the methods and properties, whatever you have. Okay. Now check what 
method did we create here? James ID and ID. ID is not method. Uh, properties. Wait. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can, can research and sing? Yes. Research and sing are methods. Yeah. So can you access research and sing method? Yes. Why you are typing? No, I'm just. <laughs> no, you cannot type. You can just <laughs> delete dot again, then put dot again. You see, when you yeah. put dot, you can see all the methods and properties here. Uh, Why don't yeah. you choose from here? Sing here. Sing, yes. Research created by you, yes. And same way you can also access sing method, right? Right. I know it is very intimidating at the very beginning. No, it's very fun. It's very funny, like kind of, uh, yeah. you know. I am telling you. Game. I mean, yeah. I am telling you. After four months, if I say, Ignatius, don't practice. Okay, you don't need to practice anymore. If I say, Rudy, don't practice. Okay. That's funny. Rest. If I say after four months, don't practice. Take rest, and you will say, No, I want to practice because. If I don't practice one or two hours every day, I cannot sleep. Trust me. Programming is fun. And once you are habituated, you cannot sleep without programming. You understand me? Ignatius, after four months. After four months, what? After four months, you cannot sleep without programming without coding without practicing yeah because yeah. you will be habituated in four months if you practice every single day one hour or two hours mm -hmm. it will become habituated you will become habituated second nature yeah you will and, be like an addiction and it will like addiction okay mm -hmm. if you don't write single code or program you will die you will die yes <laughs> I, I, I can't wait to, to, to get to that stage <laughs> yes <laughs> trust me if you, you practice can i be if, your beneficiary <laughs> if you practice four months every single day one to two hours after four months even if I tell you don't practice, you will say no, I cannot sleep without practicing. I myself, I have been programming since 2007. Wow. 2007. And now it is like my breakfast, you know. Yeah, even if you're in the restroom. Yeah, even <laughs> I'm in the restroom. I use my iPhone to code. I code, I program on my iPhone. I go to W3 school. And I <laughs> code. <laughs> Funny. Yeah. Even it's very interesting. Yeah. Okay. In my family, my family members uh Behind me, they call me Java, you know, Java, Selenium. <laughs> <laughs> My son is asking uh, his mother, where is Selenium? <laughs> <laughs> what is Java programming? Okay. So if you, have, if you have children, you have to name them Selenium, Java, Cocoa. Yeah, Uber, you can name it. Variables, okay. Methods. Still, still you are young. <laughs> You can take some more kids and you can name them <laughs> class, object, okay, uh, Selenium, Java, no problem at all. Okay, we can do it. Now, I want to show you a little automation today, okay? I will share this video 
just watch it again and practice okay one time two we did not run this one yet there is no red mark means okay you can access okay so mm -hmm. student can research student can let us take five minutes break take a glass of water mr ignatius and mr rudy just get up from the chair for a couple of minutes okay stretch out take a glass of water or grab a cup of coffee then come back okay 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 i'm going to show you <laughs> automation okay okay come back in five minutes okay all right thank you